Hello, it's Crippled Potato here, and today we are back with some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So, last episode, we left off over in our room. I think it's morning, yes. It, we just got the announcement that it was just morning, and we're going to the dining hall. So, let's go. Going to the dining hall. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. Kyoko? Too? You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um... You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Don't put me on the same level as that, that virgin. I might catch his virginity. I don't think that's how it works, Fumi. But... Nah, my guess is you're already infected. Good one, hero. Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approached my food, what happened? Genocide Jill? You're back? Huh? That voice? That laugh? The doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. So, in the end. so it's you, Genocide Jack and... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. What happened? I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing red lingerie today. Uh, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Why did we need to know? We didn't need to know that. Hold on a second, you. Uh huh. What's your top power like? Like 35, 22, 33? You start out big on top to try and look thinner down south. Look at your melons, they're seriously gargantuan. Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? Dunk them in milk? You, you're, you're starting to freak me out. No forgiveness. You lay a finger on Hina, I'll show you no mercy. So, what do you want? Surely, you are not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story, huh? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Maybe if you come to the meetings, then we'll bother to tell you. Are you talking about Alter Ego? How does he know then? Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. When Akuma might come. Why not? Because of certain cir circumstances. Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. That's true. It's all clear now. I've just made my decision. When we get out of here, I'm gonna feed your body to the vultures. He's just making enemies out of everyone. What kind of messed up dictator are you? What? If you get out, Byakuya. If. But... Isn't this a democracy, or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? Th that, that's not what we're doing. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed... off. So, I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Useless? Bless, you don't have to say it like that. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. 
cheap fabric. But perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false commodity or you'll reap its bitter reward. Th that's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? Yeah, Byaku, yeah, you can go now. It seems I'm unwelcome here. Then I'll grant your desire and remove myself. It seems I'm unwelcome here. Then I will grant your desire and remove myself. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yakuya started to slowly back out of the room. He started picking up speed and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. He, he ran away? So now he's running hard to get. I see. Wait, 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 wait. Um... Wait, so Toko likes them. Genocide Jill likes them. They're both just as weird. So, at the end there. What was that all about? Just now, Byakuya was like... Um, maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and went back to our rooms. Ooh, back to our rooms we go. Hmm, what to do today? Free time? Ooh, okay. Let's check. Anything we have? They could tree sprig. Who would love this? The branch from a sakaki tree, commonly used in Shinto rituals. It serves as a connection between humans and the gods. Hmm, who would like this? The gods. Hero? Hero, maybe? Okay. Hopefully I'm right. If we have no one else. Ooh, finally. Okay. Rec Room with Celeste. Where is the Rec Room again? Right over here. Hero. Yo. Yo, Makoto, what's happening? Hmm, should I hang out with Hero for a while? Yeah. Huh? You want to hang out with me? It's not like some well then, have I got a story for you? I love stories. My research revealed a surprising connection between the Tokyo Tower and the Lost Memorium Civilization. Hero spent a lot of time talking about the stuff that didn't make any sense to me. That's how Hero is. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hero a present? Okay. Let's give him that tree sprig. No, no, no. Come on. Tree sprig right here. You like it? Oh, such mysterious power. This is a true blue ooh part. <laughs> Makoto, the dawn of a new era draws near. Being here so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Yes. Yo. Hey, Makoto, what's up, my brother and fellow mother lover? Let's raise our semi siblings upright, okay? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about that. We're marrying the same woman. You guys know that? So, so stop talking about that. So, you ready for the next round? Never. Actually, how do you do your fortune telling anyway? I saw you doing palm readings and stuff and you didn't use any tools or anything. Wow, I didn't know you knew about divination tools. 
Sounds like you know your way around the spirit world. Uh, I'm not sure you need to know that much to know about those kind of tools. I mean, Makuta doesn't. That's why he's asking. Now that I know you're an expert, I have a question for you. A correct answer gets you another discount. No, no thanks. There are 22 cards known as the Major Arcana and 56 cards known as the Minor Arcana. Generally, the cards from the Major Arcana are used for divination. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not at all. The Major and Minor Arcana and the Major Arcana cards are used to tell the future. That must be... Here it. Oh. I know, you're talking about tarot cards. Tarot. Tarot? Tarot? I think it's tarot, right? Tarot cards? Tarot cards. Uh, gloriously correct. I will now tell your fortune for a measly 600 bones. Wow, really? It's something I'd never say. I've had enough fortune telling for one lifetime. I see. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyway, getting back to what I asked you about before. I've never had my fortune read. I would love to. Sounds so fun. If you don't use any tools or whatever, how do you do your fortune telling? Well, don't be fooled. I have my own techniques. Ooh. For example, I employ numerology. Numerology? It uses a mathematical formula to predict the future based on birthdays, letter numbering, all that. But I didn't see you doing anything like that either. Well, it's more of an inspirational style of fortune telling. Some kind of unknown power just acts through you and suddenly bam, you got the info. You're talking about intuition. Don't try and describe it using such a cheesy word. Well, Saika had intuition. But if it's not intuition, then it's got to be some kind of supernatural power. Like Don't compare my clairvoyance to some occult bullcrap. I hate the occult. Take that crap somewhere else. You hate the occult? Well? Yep. Now here's some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bonus on your reading. With the discount? I use white magic to record a CD of spirit messages I receive from the luxury suite of heaven. Five seconds of this baby and you'll be witnessing miracles and communing with angels for days. And you said you hate the occult? What the heck? Hey, business is business. The more I talk to him, the less I understand. I can't take him seriously when he gets mad. It's just like, he doesn't seem like mad man. But Celeste, on the other hand, she is crazy when she gets mad. Like, you don't want to touch her. Your old report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Ooh, okay. I shook off Hero's sales pitch and headed back to my room for a while. I still have some time. I can't just sit around doing nothing. I should go find something to do. Oh... I don't know if I have any more presents. Can we go to the um the room? The school's I can we go to the school store? Right over here. Can Okay, let's do it real quick. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, we got Prince Show Toku's globe. A spherical representation of Earth about the size of a softball. Some believe it to be oop art since it depicts a round Earth, despite being centuries old. It looks like another hero thing. But we just talked to Hero. So maybe we can save this for next time if Hero doesn't die. So let's check. Who haven't we talked to? I feel like we've talked to everyone already. Q. 
Kyoko, Celeste. Okay, Sakura, Hina. I think we talked to Hina, right? Maybe we haven't. Wait, we might have never talked to Hina. Okay, but we're going to. I think she's eating, right? I think she, she was in a dining hall. Oh, yes. I don't have anything for you. But, you know, I should talk to you. A person's ability is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous baseball player, Kenji Jojima. Yeah, totally. I think what he meant is that you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. I wonder how strong I can really be. Hmm, should I go talk to Hina for a while? I saw it. Okay, let's go to the pool. Swim time. But... Oh, but, uh, don't stare, okay? I don't actually have a swimsuit, just a shirt. And when it gets wet, it's kind of embarrassing. Although, I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kind of am. I wonder how come. Were you going swimming with Hina now? I went to swimming with Hina, who seemed kind of embarrassed. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? No. Oh man, oh man. What's up? I'm getting totally fired up. What? How, how come? How come? Doesn't matter. Now that I'm all revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. We just swam. I, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Yeah, just leave me here. Well, well hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, no, I'm just impressed. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hey, Nat, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? The ultimate spaz. Yeah. Yeah, like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Why are you wearing shorts in the winter? But if you leaves to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. I mean, I'm kind of guilty doing that sometimes, but I mean, you know, wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick. Getting sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter meets even lighter clothes. It's all part of the training. Training, huh? Training to freeze to death. Oh, so like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See? You're soft. You need more training. Okay. okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit like a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every run. You strip down to your waist and take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it. I call it, uh... What do you call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel against your skin. Let's take a shot at this. What? There's a there's actually a name for this? Towel treatment? Is it something like towel treatment? You got it. Oh my god, yeah, that's it. I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down and feeling the wind on my skin. Why is stripping down folded? God, it feels so amazing. I would never let a morning pass without getting a good rub down. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down? On your balcony, too. And you were okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I'd hate to see you catch cold or something. Yeah, Hina has no shame. She's kind of an airhead. Hina's report card had been updated based on your experience with her. Her maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Does that actually work? Huh? There's something by the door. Oh, what's by the door? 
this piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly, who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like that? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Yeah, that handwriting looks really good. Like it's printed out or something. I, I don't know anyone's handwriting, so I can't tell who it is. Kyoko, maybe? Kyoko Taka? I don't know. Either one. Okay, but I think I'm going to end it off for this episode. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay notified on any future episodes that come out. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, again, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys again next time. So, yeah. Bye.